today is World Book Day. So today we are going to read this book, uh, Sudha Murti. So this is a uh, grandma's bag of stories. So we are going to read five spoon of salt. So let's go. Okay, so here is our grandma's bag of stories. So it is five, five spoons of salt. So the page number is uh, 123. So 123. So let's read this story. It's very amazing. And come on guys and join me. And in the fun. Because it is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay. So let's read. This is my favorite story. I will never read it. But I just want to read it. Today with you all. It, is, it looks great. Okay. Okay, let's open the page number. Okay. One morning, Aji told Aja, Today is Sarthi, a village market day, which happens once in a week. Why don't you take the children and show them the sati to buy and buy vegetables and other things for the house? Aja, who normally would have said yes, was his den. How will I manage all the children that do the satha? Remember what happened at the Jari, the fair. At least there they had a temporary police assistant booth. There will be nothing of the shorts at the side. Adi agreed. This was a problem. Then they had an idea. Why don't we ask Vishnu if he can spare Damu for few hours the mu can amkane and help see the children are all right the mu was vishnu kaka's right hand man everyone called him everyone called i am here every everyone called him mr de pareval he drove the car cook Cooked, cooked, uh, cooked, looked after the fields, the um, accounts, and made sure Vishnu Kaka was well cared for. Without him, Vishnu Kaka could not run the house or do anything in his field. Only for holidays. So, the more was his. So Damu was his real companion. So it that all the seven children and Damu and Aja were now ready to visit Samthe. Damu had a plan. The Sarthe is only two kilometers away. Why don't we walk and let your Aja go in the auto? The children were horrified. Walk for two kilometers in the heat. It would be so boring too, added Raghu. But Damu had made his mind. Walk with me. I will tell you such a wonderful stories that will forget everything, even the heat. The children agreed. Uh, then me too had a condition. Has to be true story. Damu Anna. Damu was unfazed. I'll tell you the story about my sister. Do you know how I came to be uh, Mr. Depalana? I don't know. But you can read it. See, it is here. Mr. Wait. Can you see it? Mr. Depalana. I cannot read it. <laughs> I saw what happened to her once because she was forgetful and decided never to let happen to me. So, he started his story. So, guys, are you ready to read the story? Okay. Geeta, where are you? I need to run down the store to get the medicines for me. Geeta's grandfather called out for her. 
Where was Geeta? She was lying in the bed, reading a book. For a long time, she pretended not have to hurt his her grandfather, but was say, but her grandfather was saying, the the book was just too excited, and it was so hot to look outside. She really did not feel like snoring out of her bed. Geeta, this is time her. This time, her mother's voice also called out to her. With a sigh, the girl got out of her bed, to went to her some money, and said, "I have really bad headache since morning. Will you get those medicines for me?" Gita took the money and set off for the store. On the, on the. Okay, on the way she passed by the sweet shop. Oh, what a lovely gulab jamuns and laddus! Uh, oh, what a lovely gulab jamuns and laddus and kebabs were displayed. She had she had to have some. Forgetting all about her untrade, uh, she entered the shop and started tucking into the sweets. Soon the friend came by and joined her. They eat gub 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 gub. So <laughs> it was so. These two girls ate and chattered for a really long time. Geeta had forgotten all about her poor grandfather with his headache. Afternoon turned to evening. The medicine store was shut. All day, when Geeta remembered why she has stepped out of her house, when she hurried back to home, how uh, back home, how upset her grandfather was. Where, when will you grow up, Geeta, and become responsible? He sighed and asked. See, guys, now it's the funny part. She ate like this: gum, 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 ladoos and kebabs, and so <laughs> funny. See, she ate like this. Do you want to be like this and forgetful? <laughs> so funny! I love this story. <laughs> See this eating girl. <laughs> Really bad, but she went her ways. No, she remembered the same forgetful person. When her mother told her to collect clothes from the washing line outside, she remembered to do so only the next morning. By then, the clothes were soaked all through the, all through all over again because overnight rains. Other day. The way she saw school circus was in town all morning. Geeta spent wandering around at circus tents, watching the animals eating and training for their act. It was only when she felt hungry herself she took down at the lunch box in her hand and realized her sister must have gone home by then. After spending a day in school without her lunch, other time her father, while rushing to get ready for work, he asked he could quickly iron his shirt. Geeta picked up the shirt and placed it on the ironing table. Uh, the next window, just then she saw fruit vendor passed with big, fat, juicy mangoes in his basket. Of course. Geeta had forgotten all by the hot iron sitting uh, on the shirt, and got annoyed in choosing the best mangoes to buy. Only when the smoke started blowing out, the the shirt has burned <laughs> into crisps as stored. Did she look around as she saw what happened? Her father was very upset indeed to that. So funny! <laughs> I am so funny. Some days after this incident, Geeta came home from school and 
announced that whole class was being taken for a picnic next the day now guys please concentrate it's gonna be a lot of fun this time okay okay so let me read you the other part the teacher had asked each student to bring food one food item from home which had shared by all the children geeta had chosen to bring sambar she was very proud of her mother tasty tangy sambar and was eager to share with her friends so she could taste it too geeta mother agreed to big take a big pot of sambar for her to take on the picnic next day and that night geeta went bed feeling very happy dreaming about the excited day ahead next morning her mother woke up early and start making sambar she boiled and the dal added vegetables coconut and all the spices and set on the boiling pot on stove so delicious aroma wafted out the pot and tingling a uh, geeta geeta knows as she lay sleeping in her bed her uh, seeing her uh, snare her mother told her geeta wake up now dear see the sambar is nearly done i am going to the temple so after some time add 5 uh, teaspoons of salt to it don't forget it now and wake up quickly and get ready quickly so so saying she bursted off geeta's grandmother who was in the kitchen heard this all murmur to herself when uh, when will my daughter in law okay so uh, who was in the kitchen heard this all murmur to herself when my daughter in law will learn that geeta can never remember anything i'm sure the girl with forgotten to had add salt us ghar grandmother us uske grandmother ne socha hoga ki uske matlab agar aapki nani jo hai wo aapki mummy mummy ki mother hai to unhone socha ki कब मेरी बेटी ये सोचेगी कि उसकी तो डॉटर भूल ही जाती है सब कुछ देन शी विल टीज बाय ऑल हर फ्रेंड बेटा बी केयरफुल सो सेंग शी वेंट एंड एडेड द सॉल्ट ऑफ स्पून इन द पॉट उसने सॉल्ट डाल दिया उस पॉट में अब देखते हैं ये बहुत फरी होने वाला आई थिंक सो गीता इज ग्रैंड फादर वॉज सिटिंग एंड द वींदा रीडिंग हिज न्यूज पेपर ही रिमेंबर ओनली टू वेल द डे ही हैज स्पेंड विद हिज हेड एक वेटिंग फॉर गीता टू रिटर्न विद हिज मेडिसिन नेक्स्ट डे medicine which has never came geeta had remember something that will be that day he mumbled the and went to the kitchen usne bhi five spoon dal diye salt ke five five hota hai grandmother ne ek dal diye ab grandfather ne bhi dal diye five spoon to 10 spoon ho gaye ab salt ke ab dekhte hain Geeta sister was combing her hair ready to go off to school. She too recalled the day that she had spent feeling hungry in the school waiting for Geeta to turn up with her lunch box. Sure Geeta would forgotten about the salt and to be laughed by her friends. She quickly went to the kitchen and added five उसकी सिस्टर ने भी डाल दिया उसके ग्रैंड फादर ने भी डाल दिया उसके उसने भी डाल दिया Geeta's brother was brushing in teeth and hearing his mother's words and uh, to her sister guess she would forgotten about the salt he dropped few spoons of salt into the pot and usne bhi usne bhi five spoons dal di uske brother ne bhi dal diye five spoon of salt uske uske sister ne bhi dal diye uske grandfather ne bhi dal diye uske grandmother ne bhi dal diye फाइव पता तो अभी कितने स्पून हो गए हो गए ट्वेंटी फाइव स्पून उसकी मम्मा ने ही बोला था उसकी मम्मा ने बोला था बस फाइव अब ट्वेंटी फाइव हो गया अब देखते क्या होता है ओके गीता फादर वॉज केयरफुली आइडिंग हिज ओन शर्ट लाइक अदर्स टू स्लिप्ड इन द किचन एंड एडेड द सॉल्ट 
उसके फादर ने भी डाल दिया वो आयरन कर रहे थे उन्होंने भी डाल दिया आप थर्टी स्पून बाय नाउ गीता हैव वोकन अप एंड वंडर्ड ऑफ वंडर्स रिमेंबर शी नीडेड टू ऐड द सॉल्ट सो शी वेंट टू एंड एडेड फाइव टी स्पून टू हर मदर एंड टोल्ड हर वॉट टू डू बाय नाउ हर मदर हैव रिटर्न एंड क्विकली पोर द सांबर इन टू द बिग कंटेनर एंड सेंड हर डॉटर ऑफ फॉर द गीता ने तो उसका गीता इस बार गीता ने रिमेंबर करा था वो फाइव स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट डालने के लिए पर पहले से ही थर्टी स्पून डाले हुए थे अगर उसने एक और डाल दिया तो थर्टी फाइव स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट वाओ अब देखते क्या होता है एट द पिकनिक द स्पॉट द चिल्ड्रेन हैड वंडर टाइम रोमिंग अराउंड एंड प्लेइंग सून दे वर टू हंगरी टू डू एनी एल्स एंड आउट केम द प्लेट्स विथ फूड प्लेट्स वर पिल्ड अप विद राइस चने वेजिटेबल पोरेज एंड ऑल काइंड ऑफ गुडी एवरी वन टू का लार्ज हेल्पर्स ऑफ सांबर एज गीता सर्व इट आउट नो सूटर देन इट पुट द फर्स्ट स्पून इन देयर माउथ ब्लैक हॉर्बल वाटर वाटर एवरी वन स्टार्ट इट टू शाउटिंग एंड स्ट्रॉ इट गीता वंडर वॉट वॉज रॉन्ग the then he tasted the rice and the sambar on her own the plate it was disgusting you um it was uh, if her mother had drain out the salt at the sea and added to the sambar she usne uh, socha ki uski mamma ne pura sea hi dal liya sambar mein <laughs> uh and the so and added to the sambar then geeta remembered her mother had not added the salt she had so so what is wrong uh, that day everyone geeta's house uh, eagerly waited for came back for school and tell about her wonderful outing but it but what was this she came turning back her face sad and tear staring what had happened geeta burst out at did anyone else added the salt in sambar i did said grandmother i did too said grandfather uh, so i did said father me too said her brother and i said sister and i said sister they all looked at each other in display no wonder geeta looked so sad her friends would have made her feeling miserable about the salty sambar why did Why did you all do it? Amma had told me only to do so that Geeta wept. Oh dear, you would have forgotten everything you have told to do. So we thought perhaps you would re- you have wouldn't remember uh this time too. All of them said sadly. Now her mother pulled her clothes, whipped her away tears and said see all this happened because no one could believe you and without being remembered by so time you will promise you will be a careful and responsible girl from now on and you will be all trustful for your work geeta sniffed geeta sniffed and nodded her head she did become much more careful with her chores after that and took a lot of hair by crafting but her friends did not come to her house for lunch one day to taste her mother's delicious cooking uh, expertly her tasty tangy sambar and everyone agree and it was the best sambar they have ever eaten okay so let's see what happened now uh, when the story was over the children their eyes they were already at the sahe there were heaps of vegetables sweets and flowers all around there okay so where we are there were uh, there were goats cows buffalo fish chicken and eggs for the sale the smell of nuts ca- uh, cardamom and other spices hung in the air it was unlike and fair with the people had to come to have a good time here a lot of business was taking place and everyone buying and selling busily the fruits and vegetables were very fresh the flowers looked as if they had been plucked everyone was very friendly the fruit vegetables or ajja 
uh, and said namaste uh, mr is oh you have come with your grandchildren it is so nice to seeing everyone like this this uh, then he gave each one a mango when ajja offered the money he wouldn't take it he said after all my mastery my teacher can't uh, can't i give seven mangoes as gift to your grandchildren they uh, they are from my garden not per uh, purchase them the children were delighted okay so uh, were delighted and warmed by the kindness of return to home happy ever after so guys how did you like the story okay so let's meet now i'm going to meet you in face okay i'm going to meet you in face to face okay okay no no not now okay hello uh, so how do you like this story this was is amazing story five spoon of salt it was so amazing that i could not believe it uh, <laughs> she added a uh, 35 spoon of salt. oh my god so that's why the model of this story is uh, that you have to um, what yes you have to be responsible and careful what your mother and father or anyone have given you the chores this is the model of this story okay everyone i will meet you next time okay guys ta ta see you later okay <coughs> bye and happy world book day so i have read in a story for you all and have a fun day if you want to read more stories so please buy sudha murti book it is very good and it it has more series too okay so bye bye